Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria and I'm a faith-based content creator and the host of The Way Podcast. And welcome to a Faith Tip Friday video where every Friday I give y'all tips on how to sharpen and deepen your relationship with Jesus. Today's topic is spending time with God. The verse that I'm reading today is James chapter 4 verse 8 and that says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Let's talk about why I want to talk about this first. Over on my Instagram, we did a faith challenge together and it was called the October Holy, Holy Girl Challenge and there was I think like seven rules. And every week we did a check in and I would ask my people like, hey girls, how are y'all doing with the Holy Girl Challenge? Just said in the third. Everyone would say that they were struggling to spend time with God. Like that was the struggle 90% of the time. And I just like did not expect that to be the case because there were other things on the list like drink your lemon water or move your body for 30 minutes or wake up before seven. And I thought the second most biggest struggle was waking up before seven, but that was not even, that just didn't even compare to all the people who said that they struggled to spend time with God. So one, that was concerning. And two, I'm like, okay, we need to get to the bottom of this because this is just not what we should be doing as followers of Christ. If you are someone who is struggling to spend time with Jesus on a day-to-day -day basis, not to sugarcoat things, but you're, you're probably struggling from a discipline standpoint. In order to spend time with God on a day-to-day -day basis, you're going to have to be disciplined. Like that, there's no way around that. And I know that's not what we always want to hear, but it's just the truth. And one thing about me, y'all, I would never sugarcoat anything. Go look at any of my podcast episodes, okay? <laughs> But I, I think one way to better your discipline on spending time with the Lord is to know why you need to do this. Intimacy with God is just so incredibly important because that is what gets us going every day. Like that is a catalyst in our walk with the Lord. And there are too many of us that are trying to say we're Christian and walk with God, but not talk with him and not spend time with our father. Like he is our father at the end of the day. And just like you spend time with friends and parents and family, you need to spend time with God. And I think also a lot of people don't realize that not only do we need to spend time with God, God wants to spend time with us. Like he yearns for alone time and intimacy with us because we're his children and he loves us and he wants to talk with us. That's another huge thing. I don't know if that motivates you, but at the end of the day, like it needs to be discipline, not motivation. But if motivation can get you started, know that the God of the universe wants to hear from you. He wants to sit with you. He wants you to read his word. He wants you to get to know him. He already knows the ins and outs of you, but he wants to talk with you and spend time with you and dwell with you like that's literally making me emotional because God wants to do that with us like he is so sweet and so if that is any motivation to get started just know that God wants to hear from you he wants to spend time with you now how do we spend time with God there's three things I want to touch on today very quickly read his word pray and by praying I mean talk with him like I'm talking with y'all right now talk with God have a conversation with him. The third thing is have a set time and place on where you spend time with him. Whether that be, I don't recommend your bed at all, but that could be in your bed, that could be in a certain chair, it could be on a, your couch in the living room, it could literally be at a coffee shop, whatever. Just have a set time and place that you do this with him every day because that is going to help the habit. When it comes to reading his word, keeping it short, simple, and sweet, you need to find a Bible reading plan. Now, every single tip, I am going to go in detail about this on a separate tip video, but just really quickly touching on them. With reading his word, you need a Bible reading plan. Stop opening it up and be like, Holy Spirit, wind blow, and read the scripture. Okay, I'm done. Like, no. If you want to build consistency and discipline, you need to get a Bible study reading plan that you go to every morning. You check the box off. You read this part of his word. You're going through his plan. Now, again, I'm going to make a whole separate video going deeper into studying his word. But the next thing on the list is prayer. Praying is a conversation. Just as much as you talk, you need to listen. So don't just 
blabber mouth to God the entire time. Give God some room to speak. Again, he wants to spend time with us. So it's a literally just like having a regular conversation with the person. You are an active listener as well as an active speaker. So let God speak at the end of your prayer time. Give yourself a few minutes to sit in silence and listen and hear his voice. And then lastly, have a set time or a place. Get out of the bed, y'all. I really cannot stress that enough. And I really, really recommend spending time with God in the mornings because it just sets your day up for success and sets your day up of just aligning with his word, aligning with the spirit and his voice. So wake up in the mornings, go find a place, a sacred place. It could be a closet. There's so many people I know that has turned their closet into a prayer room, a war room. So go do that, whatever that is for you. Just find the place, find the time and meet with God every single day. And that's all. If you made it this far in the video, make sure to subscribe for more Faith Tip Friday videos coming your way. And I will talk to y'all soon.